Good morning, good life. In this video, I'm so excited to be sharing with you my updated 2021 morning routine. Buckle up. I kick things off each weekday between 4.45 and 5 a.m. I don't know why, but for some reason, I feel like if I wake up after 5 a.m., I'm already behind the bullet on the 5 a.m. hour. So I feel a lot better right around 4.53 if I'm like, okay, we are in gear, we're out of bed, and we're getting started. Next is newly important to me. I wanna let my community know that I'm not full of it and I actually do wake up early in the morning just in case they're wondering, and I snap a picture of my watch to post to my Instagram stories to give them a little bit bit of that motivation. Hashtag GMGL club. My very first stop in the morning is in the bathroom to do my skincare and brush my teeth because even just moving around the muscles on my face counts as movement to me. So I'm checking that box. Once my face is awake, I head downstairs and I prep my lemon water and turn the coffee pot on. Once I've got my lemon water, I go into the living room and I sit down to do a meditation practice, but it's not actual meditation. It is something that I listened to in a YouTube video by Tony Robbins called priming. Feel centered, feet flat on the ground, back straight, but comfortable, nothing on your lap. And we're going to start by three sets of 10 breathing. Close your eyes, hands come up. Here we go. Feel what you're feeling. Just fill up with the gratitude of that moment. Breathe the way you breathe when it feels so good. You might even have an inner smile that may show up on your face. You never know. Once I finish priming, I finish up my lemon water and I grab my celery juice. This is something that I juice the night before because quite frankly, the juicer is way too loud in the morning and my husband is asleep. So I grab that celery juice, give it a good shake, and I wait about 10 to 15, maybe 20 minutes after I've had my last sip of lemon water to start drinking my celery juice. And I don't always get to do every single thing in my routine, but for the most part, I try to. I make enough time for it. Regardless of what you decide is right for you, we like to stick with the three main moments of a good morning, good life in your morning routine, and that is movement, mindfulness, and mastery. Celery juice in hand, I head to my dressing room to do pretty much the rest of my morning routine, starting with goals, affirmations, and morning pages. If I'm feeling like I have a lot inside my head that's bothering me, grudges, bad dreams, worries, stress, I need to do morning pages, which is stream of consciousness, three pages of writing. I have a whole video on it, so check it out if you are new to the practice. Whether or not I do my morning pages, I always review my goals and affirmations, and this is pretty much the easiest thing in the world. I basically just look at the page before and rewrite everything from the page before. All of the affirmations that make me think about my vision for my own life and my business, and then the goals that I am working to achieve. I basically just Bart Simpson style, write them as many times as I can across the page and then move on to the next one as I go down. The priming, the goals, the affirmations, the morning pages, this is like the core amount of time that I put toward mindfulness and it helps me so much to feel balanced every day. Next, I like to get my creative juices flowing and I will pull out a very small notebook because if it's too big of a notebook, I will romanticize the crap out of it. I need like a tiny notebook that is basically meaningless to me so that I can write down 10 ideas and I will just spontaneously choose. 10 ideas for how to be healthier, 10 ideas for a YouTube video, 10 ideas for my life, anything, and just make myself come up with 10 ideas. The goal here is to come up with a lot of bad ideas and maybe a good one pops up. This has been one of my favorite things I've added to my routine lately. Some very good ideas have popped up right next to some terrible ones. Next, I pull out my laptop so that I can start working on my 250 word goal for the day. So this might be an email to my wonderful community of people. Shout out to you if you sign up for the emails, or it might be a blog post, or it might be an, uh, just a little motivational passage, but something that makes me feel like I've already made something for the world to be a better place before the sun has even come up. 250 words minimum is my goal every day. Once I've created those 10 ideas and I've also written something, this is the mastery bucket for my morning. And so once I've checked that off, 
I have had an amazing morning routine and I could really just stop right there. Since I'm more of a mid-morning to early afternoon exerciser, I do a little bit of working out in the morning, but nothing that causes me to sweat or delay me getting to work as soon as I can. So the first thing that I'll do is just read an app that kind of coaches me on healthy practices, psychological stuff that makes me feel like, oh, if I eat smart, then look at all this great things I'm doing for my body and just things like that. What I need to do in my head space to eat healthy that day, act healthy that day, sets me on the right wavelength. And then I follow it up with a few exercises to help build up my posterior bird dogs and hip thrusters and throwing the kettlebell for a few reps. I usually only do those exercises Monday through Thursday, but religiously Monday through Thursday. Because I'm up so early and I've already done all this stuff and a little bit of exercise and my celery juice has has fully worked itself through. I'm grabbing my cup of coffee, but I'm also going to have a couple of protein balls that I prepare on Sunday nights for the whole week. This gives me enough to eat that is healthy, but really early in the morning, I'm not trying to have a full on breakfast. If I do every single thing on this list, it takes me two hours. And so by the time I sit at my desk, it's about quarter till seven. I sit down with my coffee. I feel like I've had an amazing start to the day, but I still want to get an edge on my work day. So every day for an hour and a half before anyone on my team gets online and says good morning, this is my time to do the biggest, hairiest, craziest, hardest thing that I have to do for the day. Usually has to do with planning or um, creating content, maybe it's editing a video, but I just call it my one thing. Like what's the one thing I have to get done today? I wanna do that before the workday starts so that I can be on for everybody else as they're getting their day going. At some point during that time, I go and wake my husband up and the dog and I say good morning to them to make sure that they start the day on the right terms. Good morning. <laughs> oh, good morning. My team comes online and I say good morning to them and I either continue to check some emails and chat with my team or go straight to working out and then go about the rest of my day. I can't stress enough that just because this is my morning routine does not mean you should do any of these things. It's just what works for me. Like I said, movement mindfulness, mastery. It's in the planner, it's in the book. It can remind you every single day that that's all you need for a well-rounded morning routine. That's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Remember, subscribe for good vibes, kiss the ones you love, and go after the life you want. Cheers. Hey, you didn't go anywhere, right? I just want to let you know, I made these other videos. If you liked this one, you're going to love these. So go ahead. Pick which one feels right to you right now. I know there's two choices, but you got it. You got it. Go ahead. I'll see you there.